And we are live. Showtime, people. Y'all better start joining the stream. We got things to talk about. Gang, gang, where you at, gang? <laughs> Who we got? Who's here? Got a couple of people in already. What's up, folks? Say what's up. Man, y'all so quiet today. What's going on? Where we at, folks? Where you at? Talk to me. Let me get some feedback, man. I be talking to the camera all day, every day. Let me talk to people live. It's nice to have a change. Let me get some interaction. Starting to think my stream froze. Y'all so quiet. Finally, here we go. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm lagging. What's up, Spidey? Iron Spidey back from saving New York City. I see you, player. Yellow Moon, what's good? My trusty mod, Yellow Moon. Always kicking ass and taking names and chewing bubblegum. Juliet there, good, mo good morning. What time is it for you, Juliet? Good morning indeed, wherever you're at. What's going on, Green Dragon? My G, and congratulations on the newborn. Man like Travis, get right, huh? Hey, yo, James Earlham. What's up, James? Let's go indeed. Hey, Cheryl, you made it. What's going on, Cheryl? Hello, hello. I see you, son L. One of my loyal, loyal supporters, son L. Comments every single day. Where's everybody watching from? Come on in, folks, while we wait for the gang to gather around. And come on into the building, into the get right venue. Let's see, where is everybody watching the stream from? Represent your location loud and proud. Don't dox yourself, of course. Just your general city or country or planet or dimension or realm. What's going on, HN? Asking questions already. Can we do an intro first? Ain't been but two minutes, you're already asking me questions. My goodness. Let me just welcome folks. Damn. James Earlham from Manchester. Are you that? What are you doing up at this time of day, James? It's only meant to be me up at this time. But I do appreciate you, you spending your time with me here. And the Get Right Gang. Green Dragon from Alaska. Is it cold there? And I heard Alaska's cold. Smith from New Jersey. HN watching from Leeds. Why is everybody up so late? My gosh. <laughs> I guess I, I thought I was the only night owl. Juliet from Scotland. What's up? Hello, Geraldine. Welcome. Yellow Moon from Seattle. Shout out to the Seahawks. James says, I'm a night timer, bro. Me too. Yes, that makes two of us. We got also Jay from Ireland. Wow, the UK is representing today, huh? It's like 50-50 UK and 50-50 America. Sheesh, I thought you guys would have had a problem with the stream time. Apparently not. We got Iron Spider from Florida. Uh-oh, uh -oh, we got a Florida man. <laughs> if you know, you know. Hunt from New York City. The big apple in the building. What's up, New York? What is up, everybody? Welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining me for another weekly live stream. We are back for Get Right Mondays to give you an update on everything that's been going on. James says hoodies looking fresh. Thank you so much. Let me tell you something about this hoodie. This hoodie is comfortable. Like sometimes hoodies can be itchy, but this one feels nice. Like I could rock this for a minute. So yeah, you guys can get one from getrightgang.com if you want a hoodie, but thank you so much. Guys, we are back. It's been a very, very productive last week. Good things have happened. Some not so good things have happened. But that's what we're here to talk about today. Everything that's been going on. And if you guys ever have any questions or things you want me to clarify or clear up, I am your guy. So, yesterday, let's start the talk. Let's get into it. And as some questions come up or as some super chats come up, 
I'll answer your questions and just stop what I'm talking about. But for now, I'll just start talking. So yesterday, <sighs> I missed my upload. I didn't upload yesterday. After 72 days, I finally missed an upload. And to be honest, I could have uploaded. I had all the footage ready. I filmed everything. It was mostly edited. But the truth is, I was just tired. I was tired, man. I needed rest. So I could have pushed through and just done the tough guy thing and been like, just gritted it out and just uploaded it and just got it done. But to be honest, I just felt, you know what, it's probably best that I prioritise sleep because I had been lacking some sleep the last week. And this is a marathon, not a sprint. I gotta, I gotta keep my energies, my energy levels up. I gotta keep my mental strength up as well. And if it becomes too much of a grind and too much of a chore, it's gonna get too difficult. So, come on, you gotta prioritize sleep over a lot of things. And that was one time where I had to prioritize sleep. So I ended up taking a nap, not even a nap. I went straight to sleep and I was out like a light. By the time I woke up, I was like, oh, dang, missed my upload day. But then I thought, you know what? No problem. I'll just do a two-in-one anyway the next day. And that's literally what I did. I just uploaded a video about 15 minutes before this live stream. So I'm sure some of you haven't realized it yet. But if you're looking for the latest video, it is up now. Don't click off this live stream because we've got some things to talk about. But there is a new video up now. It's about 15, 16 minutes long where I covered the last two days instead of one. So yes, I did miss an upload day. Forgive me, but in replacement, I did a two for one video instead. Have, has any of you seen that yet? I know you probably haven't seen all of it, but have, have you guys got the notification? Have you seen a video? What's up, Bluey? Spectre Agent Bluey is in the building. I see you. Hey, get right, gang. We are here. What's going on, everyone? So, yep, yeah, I did put up a video. Uh, yeah, James said he hasn't seen it. Ian said he started watching it. <laughs> Dan says, uploading and streaming at the same time. I'm here. Jay Smith said, I started it. Juliet said, I started it. Yeah, so, wow, Hunt said, watch the whole thing. What'd you do? Watch it on two times speed? Wow, you got some superhuman comprehension, man. Yeah, so I did put up a video today. It covers the last two days. So all the information is going to be there. Everything that happened. I'm sure, I'm sure some of you loyal supporters was like, where, where, where's the video? <laughs> Have I missed it? Has, has, a, has the notification gone missing? Has something gone wrong? Is he okay? Has he quit? Has he been abducted by aliens? Like, I'm sure some of you was like, whoa, Jamal, Mr. Day, this is crazy. But guys, I'm fine. Everything is good for the most part. If you haven't watched the video yet, I will cover most of what I talked about. Dan says, still have the comb. Yeah, man, I got three of these, man. I got one in every room in my house. Well, not every room, but most rooms. The main rooms where I spend my time in, I have one comb in each. Just like I have a tripod in each, so it's easy access. <laughs> Gotta have my tools, man, my PPE. So yeah, <laughs> we're spoiled. So if you haven't watched the video, and make sure you do watch it because I need that them views, I need that watch time and them engagement. So y'all make sure you watch the video. It's a good video too, well edited. But I'll just cover everything anyway in this stream. So basically for the last week, I've just been putting up one minute videos for like the last couple of days you probably saw and that's because I've had a lot going on. Hunt says, how many rooms do you have in your house? Let's see, I've got this room, which is like the kitchen, living room area. I've got an office room, which you guys haven't really seen. I've got my bedroom, which has a ensuite shower, bathroom, and I have a separate shower, bathroom, and then closets all around. So however many rooms that is. <laughs> uh, Geraldine says, do you feel lighter since you released almost 100 pounds? Do I feel lighter? Um, Not really. I still feel like a big dude. <laughs> I still feel like a heavyweight. But I feel more mobile, more agile. And I don't, you know, 
I don't huff and puff so much anymore. I've got more stamina and more energy. I feel better mentally. I feel mentally more clear. I feel happier. I feel more, what's the word? I feel, I just feel more happy about what's to come. Like, I don't know what the word is. Y'all can help me. I feel like there's good things that are, that are coming forward and I'm just looking forward to them. The word has slipped me, but you know what I'm saying. So yeah, not really lighter. I know I'm still 480, 470 pounds. But I'm uh, optimistic. How did I forget the word optimistic? Come on, I'm English. Easy word. I feel very optimistic about the future. So it's all looking good. <sighs> right. Spidey says, bro, I don't know if you're doing something, but every time you lose weight, my bench increases. I've increased it since you started your videos by 65 pounds. Hey, man, as they say in science class, mass is not destroyed or created. It just changes, which is true. Mass just changes. So if I'm losing a weight, it's got to be going somewhere, right? It must be going to you, Spidey. <laughs> uh, so... Hans says, if you don't mind me asking, have any of your labs improved at the doctors or have you not gone for a checkup? No, I ain't been to the doctors. Nope. I have not been to a doctor's since. I've never been for any labs ever. But maybe I should do that at some point, and I probably will. It's just not a priority. Daniel says, cool, catching a bit of a live. Welcome, Daniel. Thank you for joining us, the Get Right Gang. We are live and in color. What's up, everybody? So yeah, if you guys haven't seen the video, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to talk about it, but you guys are saying a lot of stuff. But um Dan 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 says the shirt looks really cool. I think so too. I think it's beautiful. And I designed it myself with my own left hand, because I'm left-handed. So I'm really proud of that. Just to give a bit of a back just to give a bit of information by the way, because I've never really talked about what the design is or what it's about. So I'll just cover that real briefly. But obviously, the guy in the middle, you know who that is. <laughs> and then there's a, a guy on the left and a guy and a, a female on the right. That's not anybody in particular. It's just meant to represent the Get Right Gang. All colours, all nations, all genders. And then obviously, it says Get Right Gang at the bottom. At the top, these like explosion effects. This one and this one. Is sort of like a crown, if you can see that. It's like a king, king's crown and a queen's crown. I did that intentionally because we are future kings and queens and leaders of our industry. And there was something else I wanted to mention, which I forgot. But yeah, <laughs> oh, that was it. Now I, rem now I remember. Um, if you've ever seen, has anybody ever seen the TV show called Wild and Out? on MTV. I think it still airs. Nick Cannon's Wild and Out. Anybody ever seen that? It's a comedy sort of roasting program. Very, very funny. Wild and Out. But Wild and Out have... The, the, the design for the Wild and Out logo is what I used as influence for this design here. So if you look at the Wild and Out t-shirt logo, that was the what that was one of the inspirations for this. I wanted something on that level of the Wild and Out design. Because you know the Wild and Out logo, that has never changed. It's always been like that. And they've got so many different pieces of merch which they always put that logo on. I wanted something on par with that. Where in 10 years I'll be able to say, yo, this still looks sick. I don't need to change it. And I and I spent like four days, literally like four days perfecting this. Just making little adjustments here and there. Like adding the little crowns at the bottom, adding the little details in the in the clothing and, and the muscles and all that. It spent like four days perfecting it. And I actually paid two people separately to try to design me some merch in the first place. And then it came back, I was like, this is not, this is not the one. This is not on the level of Wild and Out. <laughs> MTV's Wild and Out. And I need it to be that good so that in 10 years time, I'm like, this is still sick. The stuff they were sending me was like, eh. And I don't do eh. I was like, I need sick. So yeah, I spent like four days designing it. I was trying to save myself time. That's why I paid some people. But they didn't do what I needed them to do. So I just designed it myself. And I'm very proud of this. So if you do want one, if you want to represent the Get Right Gang, 
getrightgang.com is your website. You can grab yourself a hoodie, t-shirt, mug, vest. Got all sorts of good stuff on there, different colors. Getrightgang.com. Love it. Everyone so far that's got one has said this is really nice design and this, the merch is actually really comfortable too. So, uh, James Irma says, are you doing keto, bro? Just know you eat two tins of tomatoes and most cans I've looked at are like 15 grams of carbs per can. That's correct. So the thing with keto is some, some people say you can eat up to 50 grams of carbs and some people say it has to be below 20. I haven't got a hit confirmation on that, but I should probably reduce my um, the amount of tomato cans I eat to just one can and I may end up doing that, but... Um, I might not, because <laughs> it's it's only I'm still only eating six hundred calories, or five hundred five hundred to six hundred just depends on how many eggs I have or or and how many calories are in the eggs, which I don't know. So maybe I'll reduce it to one can of tomatoes, but I probably won't because I'm being consistent, and that's the most important most important thing. That being said, the keto is important because I need the autophagy. I need to heal up my loose skin and autophagy is how I'm gonna go about that. So yeah, thanks for bringing that up, whoever mentioned that. That's something that I actually did think about a few days ago and something I gotta think about a little bit more. Whether I wanna go, whether I wanna cut the carbs down to below 50 or no, below 30 or not. But yeah, no really matter. I'm still getting, I'm still getting results. <sighs> Dan Stan says hot or cold showers. Uh, I just have hot showers. I can have cold showers, but it's like whatever. It doesn't. I don't really notice a massive difference in the effect of, with regards to recovery. It's just me suffering in cold showers for no reason. So, and also it's been freezing cold, and the weather's been freezing cold. So I've been, so I definitely haven't been messing with cold showers then. But I'm open to it. I can have those. Uh, maybe I've got to look more into the benefits. It's just, it's just kind of whatever for me. It's more, I'm just focused on calories in, calories out. Hunt says you could do veggie puree instead of, tom instead of tomatoes. Okay. Mm, that just sounds, that doesn't sound that appealing to me, but I guess, yeah, you're right, I could do that. What else we got? Iron Spider says, what are the workout shirts made of? Will they stand? <laughs> Will they stand? <laughs> Iron, you're crazy. Oh, I'm not. Iron. I can't believe you made me read that. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, let me, finish, let me finish telling my story. Sorry, guys. I know you guys have a lot of questions and things to talk about, but I got some things to get off my chest, too. <laughs> so let me do that. So... Last seven days, I, I've just been uploading one minute videos and that's just because I've been really busy. I've been, I haven't been at home much apart, to, apart from sleeping and doing my workout. And then I've been going for walks. So you guys check out the video because I showed some footage of my walks and I showed some footage of the places where I've been the last few days. And there's some pretty fun footage there. But I do my exercise at home for a couple of hours and then I usually edit my video and upload my video and then I start going out late at night. So it's really late now, not this late, but I've been going to the local bars, going to the local clubs, just going to some shops. I went to an ice cream parlor, just to have a look around. Didn't actually buy anything, obviously. I went to an arcade. We got a really cool arcade next to me, which has mini golf, which has, pools got pool tables and uh air hockey they got loads of stuff there so that was pretty cool and then they got you know like i said bars and clubs like i live in a obviously you can see i live in quite a vibrant sort of vibrant area and there's plenty of things to do all within walking distance for me so i'm very very blessed and fortunate in that regard i don't like live in like the middle of nowhere there's like lots of things to do around me and lots of people doing things in those places. So luckily for me, I can just walk to wherever I need to go to and there's things going on, there's people around there. So that's what I've been doing the last, well, I did that, not, didn't, not last few days, I did that on Thursday and Friday, where I just decided to get up and go around, walk around, <clears throat> and then I went to some places. Now, keep this in mind, I've been to some bars, I've been to some clubs, you see that in the video, but I am not drinking anymore. 
I have no plans of drinking anytime soon. Maybe not until New Year's. So like the end of the year. Maybe sooner, but most likely not. <laughs> Violet says, do you make more from Super Chats or merch? I would like to support you in a manner where you get the most. Uh, the best way to support me if you want to optimize it would be to send me an email. And then I can give you... Uh, you can either send, you could perhaps send the Amazon gift card, which has happened before. Shout out to Mala. I know Mala's going to be watching this, but Mala did send me a very, very generous Amazon gift card quite recently. So that was incredible. So the best way to support me is first through sending me an email, and then you can either send me an Amazon gift card, or I could send you a link to say a PayPal or some other way to donate. Because that way, if you donate through, if you do give a super chat, then YouTube does take a quite sizable cut, which is absolutely fine. It is what it is. I am on their platform and they do give us a lot of tools for free. And if you do buy merch, then the merch provider also takes a quite a sizable cut too. So if you want to optimize the donation, the best way is to send me an email and you can send a gift card through Amazon or I could give you a link to like a PayPal and we can do it through that way. So thank you for that question and thank you for the support. Whether you do it or not, thank you for even asking that. So yeah, hope that answers that question. But yeah, <clears throat> so I've been to some bars, been to some clubs, no drinking. I'm not drinking, no alcohol. I was just drinking water the whole time. Fortunately, they give you, they tend to give you water for free in those places just from the little drip taps that, you know, the, the, the little machine where they, you press the button and the Coca-Cola comes out, the lemonade comes out. Normally they have soda water on there too. So I just ask them for some soda water and it's literally just water and air. So they're not really gonna charge me, but I offered to pay anyway. The, it's probably not even on the till. So even if they wanted me to take money, they, they can't cause it's not on the machine. It's just water and air. So I just drink some soda, hang around, talk to some people, hang around with the bar staff, hang around. I, was, I spend most of the time talking to the security guards because I can relate to them most. And I find that the security guards have the better idea of everything that's going on around me. So I have a lot of questions. I'm just very inquisitive. I want to know all the ins and outs. And I learned a heck, of, a heck of a lot, actually. I learned all about the gangs that are going on around, all the operations that are going on, well, not all of it, but a lot of, the, a lot of the families that are operating in my area, a lot of the, like, the underground, dark street stuff which I ain't gonna talk about, but stuff I need to know. And then, yeah. Sonny said, do you live in Newcastle? I don't live in Newcastle. Why would? Why did you think I live? I'm curious why you think I live in Newcastle, Sonny. Do you see something which makes me think I live in Newcastle? Because I don't, but it's a good guess. So yeah, I was just asking the security guard some stuff and met some cool people. And um, Daniel says, are you willing to consider making a Patreon? I think creators get to keep a lot more of the support. No, I won't be creating a Patreon. Uh, I've created a channel membership for now. As for future monetize, monetization plans, that stuff for the future. To be honest, I have some plans. I have lots of plans actually, but a lot of those plans will not go into fruition until I hit my goal weight. Like the step one or phase one right now is just creating is getting to my goal weight and creating credibility. Like I'm not gonna be doing all this extravagant stuff until I at least do the basic, which is get to my goal weight so that I can stand on the things which I'm talking about and have credibility and evidence because at the end of the day, I'm never gonna have a doctor in front of my name and I'm never gonna have 20 years, well, maybe one day, but not for now. All I have 20 years personal coaching training experience so in order to get credibility, my way of doing that is through transparent weigh-ins and through actually saying what I'm going to do and doing it, which is getting to my goal weight. What's up, Sassy Pam? Everybody say welcome to Sassy Pam. You guys see Pam sassing me all the time in the comments. Somehow getting top comment all the time. Everybody welcome Sassy Pam on the stream. She just came in late though. Too busy sassing everybody. But yeah, as I was saying, I'm going to create different tools i'm not i don't want to i don't even want to reveal too much but i have some plans which will not go into fruition until at least phase one is complete which is saying what i'm going to do and doing it and that is getting to 195 pounds see you later dan let's take it easy dan thank you for, for, for the support as always my g and uh, have a good night or good day whichever one it is 
So yeah, I'm not going to be creating a Patreon, but I do have a, the channel memberships active right now. Super Chats are active right now if you want to support by two Super Chats. Uh, merch is active right now. I saw, I just got a notification. Somebody just bought some merch. Whoever you are, if you feel like it, say what's up. <laughs> I appreciate you. I'm not sure what, what you actually bought, but yeah. GetRackGang.com is where you can get some merch. Channel memberships are, if you click the pinned comment in the chat right now, you can join and become a channel member. There's some extra content, extra perks for you there as well. And yeah, those are the two main monetization options. But if you do want to support and you don't want YouTube to take a cut or you don't want my merch provider to take a cut, just send me an email and I will give you a link to some, maybe a PayPal, or you can send me an Amazon gift card through, through the email as well, which somebody has done already. That was Mela, and so that can work too. Hope that helped. So who bought, <laughs> Deb, Deb bought, what, what happened? Deb, you bought a hoodie? Aye, what color did you buy, Deb? Deb, what color did you buy? I'm curious. I always, I'm always curious to know what color you guys buy, because I want to know like which color's popping. And if there's a color that no one really buys, I'll just take it off and, and try and maybe add a new color. So I personally like the gold. I quite like the white as well. She said they've got the navy. What what color logo did you get is what I mean. But yeah, the navy ones fly. So yeah, thank you so much to Deb. Shout out to Deb, man, for, for grabbing yourself a hoodie. I, re I respect that. I appreciate you all, man. I appreciate you all. James says, yeah, some of you can set up called buy me a coffee. I don't think they could take a percentage, but I may be wrong. Most I've heard of Buy Me A Coffee and more than likely they do take a percentage. But I've seen the website and it's not very good. The interface is very basic. Um, I think it's just basically like a Patreon. And like I said, like I was just saying, I do have some things I want to do, some plans I have for the future. Not even so much about monetization, but just as a way of giving back more value to you guys and uniting the community in different ways really doing my part to create a movement. <laughs> I'm already saying too much, so I'm not going to stop there. But I do have some plans, and it's not going to go into fruition until phase one is complete. Phase one is getting myself to £195. Like I said, I'm going to do it and actually doing it, because you guys already know this, or most of you know. Probably 99% of you came here from another weight loss channel, <laughs> let's be honest. So you guys already know this, but many... Almost all people who do weight loss journeys say they're going to do it and they don't actually do it. They end up falling off for some reason or they end up taking 10 years and they're still doing the same thing. So with that being said, I could be one of those people. You never know. I could fall off one day. You never know. So I don't really want to do too much until I've actually done the basics, which is complete my task and get to my goal weight. Cheryl says, question, your thanks button. Does YouTube take a cut on that too? Thanks button? What, what's the thanks button? You mean like super chats, super stickers or super thanks? Yeah, any any sort of donation through YouTube, uh, whether it's super chat or super stickers or super thanks. Yeah, they take a, I think it's a 30% 30% cut goes to YouTube. Just keep that in mind. So any, I'm, like I said, it's fine because they give, they give us a lot of tools for free. And I'm very appreciative that I can even use this platform. So if you do want to give a direct donation, just send me an email or just send me, a, you could send me an Amazon gift card link, which has happened before and we'll sort it out through there. But yeah, Super Chats are fine. It doesn't, you know, it is what it is. It's their platform and, they, you know, we're on here for free. So we're all talking here for free. So they deserve a bit of money, right? But if you do want to just go straight to the source, just email me, we'll sort it out through that. Man, you guys, you guys are chatty today, man. <laughs> I can't keep up. <laughs> yeah, but it is thirty percent. YouTube takes a thirty percent cut. It is quite sizable, but it's also the best social media platform, in my opinion, out there. So, is what it is. Um. So yeah, as I was saying, back to my story. I've been going to some bars, been going to some clubs, arcades, restaurants, uh, stores all sorts of stuff, meeting some people, hanging out with people, talking to everybody that I could talk to, getting a feel for some things, creating opportunities for the future and networking, even like networking and creating opportunities that I don't need. <laughs> for example, I met a guy a few days ago who is a dog trainer. He's a, he's a dog breeder and a dog trainer. He breeds Alaskan Malamutes. And I don't have a dog and I don't need a dog right now, but maybe one day I might want a dog 
and I might need a trainer. So I have a trainer who lives next to me <laughs> and a breeder. And I'll, I'll, if I do get a dog, a Malamut might be one of the dogs I get. If you know about dogs, then you know Malam Alaska Malamuts are one of the most beautiful dogs. I just heard they're very, very hard to train and kind of high maintenance, but I quite like them. So that's something to keep in mind. So that's so that's one of the lessons I've always always took on board is to create networks and create opportunities and meet people who are in circles which you don't even necessarily need right now because it might some might be something that can be helpful for you in the future and save you time or open some doors which might not be available to you at the time so that's a, maybe a bit of a lesson for you guys don't be afraid to network even if you don't need any more network because you never know you never know when that might come into fruition or when that might be useful to you at some point so yeah, back to what I was saying. Going around, doing some things, hanging out. So I was, I was, I burned at the mo the highest I burned last week in terms of calories was on a Friday. I think I burned ten thousand eight hundred calories on Friday. I said that way too quiet, like it wasn't a big deal. I said last Friday I burned ten thousand eight hundred calories. Check the video if you think I'm lying. It's all there. What's today? Today is well, it's a new day, so I've only burned. 300 today but yeah i burned 10,800 last friday and that's because i did my home exercise and then i went out to one of the bars and i was just walking around for like three extra hours so i do i do be cutting calories like crazy yes yellow says that's crazy it is 10,800 is over three pounds of energy so it's like three pounds of body fat assuming it is it is all body fat that's like three pounds of body fat down i did eat that day so it wasn't three pounds in total because I did gain some from the food. But that just showed you the potential of how much weight I can lose. And that is why the last couple of days before the, the cheat day yesterday, <clears throat> before the day 73 and day 74, I was burning like 10, up to 10 pounds a week. I lost, you guys saw it, man. You guys saw it for yourself. So you know I'm not making this up. You know this isn't, this isn't cap. But I zinged through those 470s. You guys saw it. I just dusted the 470s and left it behind me like it was not even there. And this is why, it's because I started increasing the amount of calories that I was burning. <laughs> Jay Smith says, choo-choo! You guys like that? Should I make a choo-choo emoji? I've been thinking of making a choo-choo emoji. What do you think? Get right gang channel members. I might be a choo-choo emoji coming at this rate if, if that slogan gets over. So yeah. I be I could, I be cutting calories like crazy, man. I have the potential to. Um, and honestly, if if I was to burn three pound a day every day, that'd be like over twenty pound a week. All I have to do is be consistent with the amount of food that I eat afterwards and not overeat. But yeah, look, we're, we're looking at numbers like that in the near future, folks. Honestly, that like you you guys think that I'm making some of you guys think that I'm making this up so now you can see it this is why I do this is why I do this as transparent as possible so you can you guys can see the potential because if I just if I just said that I could burn 20 pounds a week and I didn't show it nobody but nobody would believe me why would they it shouldn't I wouldn't believe me but now you can see it because there's so many things that you can like compare and contrast it to so you can look at the weight on the scales you can look at the before and afters you can look at things like my face. There's like so many different things which I show. And I do that intentionally so that it's very, very hard to doubt the credibility of the things that I'm doing. If it was just like one thing, like the skill and the date, you could say, yeah, maybe you think that, maybe it's manipulated somehow. But when I add the before and afters every day, you can't say I haven't lost a bunch of weight. It's pretty obvious. So that's why I do that. And I think this, this is the best way to go about doing weight loss journeys. The only massive problem with it, and honestly, guys, it's, it's a lot of work <laughs> and it can be exhausting. If I'm going to keep it real, I've probably said this before, but if I haven't, the truth is my weight loss is not as difficult as it is to keep this channel going and to do daily uploads consistently with the effort that I put into them. That takes a lot more mental, that is a lot more mentally fatiguing for me than actually burning those calories in a day. Because after a while, those calorie burns, it just becomes routine and normality. Like, that's just part of my day. Like, I don't even know. I feel weird when I don't do that. And that's probably why I haven't had a day off. I haven't, I don't think I mentioned this on the stream, but I did mention this in the video. But I haven't had a rest day in over two weeks now. I think today's day 
Today is day 15. Again, I said that way too quiet, like it wasn't a big deal. I haven't had a rest day in over two weeks, guys. I've been exercising every day for over two weeks, and I'm still ready to go. In fact, I'm pretty sore today. Well, I was pretty sore earlier today. Now I feel all right, as in right this second, I feel all right. But I ain't taking a day off until I really need to. And I just, it just, it's like, I feel weird if I do take a day off. It's like, I don't know what to do with myself. I get bored. Not, not that I don't have things to do, because I have plenty of things to do, but it just feels like the day is incomplete. Like, I've got goals to, I've got goals to reach, man. I've got places to go and people to be. And I'm there not exercising. Like, what's that about? Come on, man, get together. <laughs> gang, gang, what's up, everybody? I see a lot of gang, gang, and mojis. Yeah, guys, if you guys, there's a lot of people here. Feel free to send a super chat. I ain't got no super chats today. What's going on? Where's the love, man? Not even a single super chat. I'm there flapping my gums, can't even get one. I see it, so it's cool. No, it's all right, all right. There's no problem. I understand, I understand. It is, it is what it is. Galina says, hello from Moscow. Wow, we are represented today. The speed of the weight loss is amazing. I take notes, need to lose 15 pounds, keep it up. Galina, Ivanov, Iv Ivanova, you got this. I hope if you're, if you're learning anything from my videos, I'm very, very glad. And I hope I can help you along the way. So I just, that's why I do everything transparent. I don't hide anything. Everything I'm doing to lose weight is all in the videos. Everything I'm eating, everything I'm doing. So if it does help you along your way, I have, I'm very glad to hear that. You got this. Zaelias Ziela says, super proud of you. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Yeah, so let me finish telling my story. The point of the, the, point of the story is I'm losing... I can burn a bunch of calories really, really quickly. And hold on a second. Troy says, hey, saw your recent video. Do you think it was accurate? You watched saying you burnt 1K just walking around. I was burning more than 1K walking around. No, 1K an hour? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. My watch is accurate. It's 100% accurate. And that's because, and I know that because I... I know how many calories I burn in a day. I know you I don't show I don't show I usually weigh myself in the morning and I weigh myself at the end of the day. I don't show that in the videos. But normally I I lose like 10 pounds in a day. And that's because the, the day before I drink water and I gain like eight pounds. So I norm, I normally gain eight pounds in a day and I lose ten pounds in a day. So I know I know the calories are accurate because I lose so let's say let's say today I weigh myself and then tomorrow I weigh myself again and you guys see that I lost two pounds. The truth is I actually lost 10 pounds, but I also gained like eight pounds. That's sort of how it works along them lines. Obviously it fluctuates and it just depends on how much I exercise that day, how much I eat and how much water, water I drink. But normally it's like something along them lines. I'll gain a bunch of weight and I'll lose a bunch of weight. It's a lot more than you actually see. Because I don't want to keep weighing myself all day. It just becomes long and becomes a chore. But that's normally how it goes. Something like that. Jen says, getting my merch in place of the super chat. Need my get right gear. I like that name, you know. Get right gear. Sheesh. Son, Sonny L with the $10 says, thank you for sharing. Bicep. Sonny L, thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate the support and the membership as well. Thank you so much for the love right there. And who was that? Who said, um, Justin said you're going to get your merch. Grab your merch, man. Grab your Get Right gear. It's available. GetRightGang.com, everybody. These hoodies are fresh. This logo is clean. And honestly, it is very comfortable. And I'm very happy about that. Because it means I can just wear these all the time when I'm just casually chilling around the house. Honestly, I was going to get one in every color. But first of all, I ain't got money for that yet. And second of all, I'm going to be losing weight pretty darn quickly. So that would be pretty stupid. <laughs> like this is, this is a 4XL right now. And I doubt I'm going to be a 4XL for all that long. That's, that's the plan anyway. I don't, I don't plan on being 4XL for all that long. So I at least got to wait till I get to a stable weight first before I start going crazy on my oldies. But I'm going to get a couple more of these. They're super comfortable. They look great. You can represent the gang. And like I said, I designed this in a way intentionally so that 10 years from now, I don't think I'm going to be changing this logo because I think it looks that on point. That's just my opinion. What do you guys think? What, who, am, who am I to say? I, I, obviously, I'm going to say my own design looks great, but what do you guys think? Because I think it looks cool, but you guys let me know what you think. And yeah, thank you to everybody for supporting. 
Oh, where was I? What was I talking about? Yeah, I don't remember where I left off, so I'ma just get to the main point. I did gain, I gained like eight pounds the last, last two days. And if you haven't watched the new video I put up yet, I just put it up recently, some of you haven't seen it yet, but spoiler alert, I did have a cheat day yesterday and the day before. It was only meant to be one cheat day, but the, the food that I bought, I just ended up eating it both over two days because it was too much for me to eat in once and I didn't want to be that full anyway. Because I didn't want to miss my workout and I've been working out every day. And if I ate too much, I'd just be bloated and I'd just fall asleep. So I didn't eat it all and I still hit my workouts every day. So that's crazy in itself. I had cheat days and I'm still working out every day during the cheat days. So I did gain eight pounds, but it could have been a heck of a lot more if I hadn't kept consistent with my exercises. But like I said, watch the video, guys. It's a really, really comprehensive video and a very, very real transparent video about the actual cheat day and what I actually went through, like the men mentality of it all. So it was a good, <laughs> pretty good video and very honest as well. But um, yeah, I did get, I did gain several pounds from the cheat day, but it was something I had to do. Like I talked about in the video, but <sighs> basically one of my trigger foods, which I'm not going to talk about because I know you guys always copy what I do. So if I mention it, you're going to go buy it and I don't want you to do that. So one of my trigger foods, I just spat in the camera, <laughs> don't clip that. But one of my trigger foods, this company decided, freaking decided to create three, five new flavors of it, of this food that I, that I used to eat all the time. No, it wasn't wings. No, no, it's good guess, but it wasn't wings. It was a snack, so something that comes in a packet. This freaking company, <laughs> And I'm watching my language, but honestly, I have to ask God for forgiveness because I was cussing and swearing a lot. I was so irritated. They decided to make five new flavors of this thing, which I used to eat all the time. So I'm just like, how could you do this to me, man? You you guys, this company, this company, you they knew I was on a weight loss journey. I, they, they watch my videos. They don't really, I'm joking. But they watch my videos and they know I was on a weight loss journey. And because they knew I was on a weight loss journey, this billion dollar company decided to make five new flavors of my favorite snack. They'd done that on purpose for me. They, they invested billions or millions into this product just because of me, because they saw my channel, obviously. I mean, it's obvious, right? And they made five new bloody flavors just to spite me. Here, Violet says it, just to spite me. <laughs> and so when I saw this, I went to the shop the other day when I was, one of the days when I went out, when I was walking around, I, w I just went, because like, I just, I was just going everywhere. So I just went to ask them some questions. I wanted to find out what time they open, what time they close, and see what they actually sell, see what the prices are. I walked past the shelf, looked to my right, and I see five new flavors. I was like, what are you doing? In my head, now, that day I was all right, actually, because I was going out that day. So I was like, I don't really need nothing anyway. But it stuck in my head. It's like it planted a seed. Planted a seed that day. And then over the next few, three days, every now and then I'll just start thinking about that snack again. For three days, I'm thinking about a stinking snack. And I've got things to do. And I'm just like, every now and then it'll just creep back up in my head. This this thing, I'm like, I'm just thinking, what does it taste like? I really want to try that. But then I'm like, oh, I've got this weight loss journey, man. Man, I've got, I've got to get in shape. I got to get healthy, I got to get right. And I got my weigh-ins, I got all the supporters, everybody relying on me. I got my live stream on Monday. I can't be eating that stuff. And then so after three days, I was like, bro, this is sick, bro. This is mad twisted. Why am I thinking about a stinking snack for three days straight? This is some BS. So I was like, at that point, I was just like, you know what? Let me just get the blasted snack and just eat the damn thing and get it out of the way because this is ridiculous. <clears throat> so I was like, yeah, I'm going to gain some weight. But what I'm not going to do is I ain't going to lie about it. I'm not going to fake this. I'm not going to fake my way in somehow or pretend that that didn't happen. So I decided I'm going to have the blood damn snack and I'm going to tell everybody exactly what happened and what happened. So I bought the bloody snack and good guess is sunny, but no, but good guesses. I bought the bloody snack, bought a bunch of them, munched it, munched most of it, and you know what happened? It tasted 
horrible. After a while, after the first few, it tasted pretty good, but then after a while, I was like, this is nasty. I don't even enjoy it anymore. So I did some research and I found out that after a while, apparently your taste buds change and you become adapted to the things that you have been eating. So I've been eating meat and vegetables and a little bit of fruit, mainly, mainly lemons. And now it seems that I don't really like junk food anymore, apparently. I've only had it once, but that's exactly what happened. I had the snack and I was like, this is gross. I would have rather had my, le my tomatoes and sardines or eggs rather than that. In fact, something I did add to my diet recently as well, which I can show you because I've still got it here, is pickles. I've got some mixed pickles here. It's got jalapenos and cauliflower, and I think that's onion. And sauerkraut. I didn't even know what sauerkraut was until recently, but apparently it's just cabbage. And I actually like cabbage. So that's pickles and cabbage, basically in vinegar. These, these tasted better than a snack. But I enjoy eating these more than a snack. And I don't think I would have said that at the start of this weight loss journey. In fact, I know I wouldn't. Like, that's crazy talk. Pickles and kraut? Better than junk food? But when I'm eating that, I'm just like, yo, this is good. I could back that. Um, and the reason why I bought those and why I'm adding those to my diet is because they're extremely high in sodium. And vegetables in general are high in potassium. So it basically, this is an electrolyte high in sodium high in potassium super low in cotton calories and this one these ones are in particular are low in carbs but if you do get one you have to be careful blue says have a great night good get right gang see you later specter agent blue thank you so much for your support as always and you have a good night specter agent blue so if you do get sauerkraut if you do get uh pickles for your electrolytes, just be careful because some of them are high in calorie, in high in carbs because some of them have a lot of sugar in them. So always check the back. I say it all the time, folks. Always check the ingredients. Make sure getting a, make sure that you are getting a good one. These ones are very low in carbs, so they're very good for a ketogenic diet. No sugar in them. So I've got those. I love the taste of them. Tasted way better than them blasted snacks that that I was craving for so long. And the good thing is, yes, it sucks. I gained eight pounds. Watch the video, I did gain eight pounds. But the good thing is, a couple of good things is, a couple of good things are, that is out of my system. I don't want it again anytime soon. It was horrible, <laughs> I regret it. Although I needed to do it because it was bothering me and now I did it and I don't want it again. And as I said, I'm now losing, burning up to or over 10,000 calories a day potentially so now as long as i stick to my diets which i have every intention of doing sticking to my tomato cans and protein and electrolytes i'm gonna be cutting calories like crazy guys it's gonna get crazy man it's gonna get crazy man i might be getting into two thresholds in one week like for one week i might go say to the 60s and the 50s before the next live stream that's potentially going to happen in fact, I expect that to happen. So this is this is what you got to look forward to, folks. Crazy, crazy weight loss is coming in the very near future. And that's why I said earlier, I'm very, very optimistic and somewhat excited about what's to come. So let's keep pushing. Just Jen says, it's in your rear view now. Nowhere to go but forward. That's right. Straight W key. Press them W keys if you know, you know. Straightforward, folks. Danielle, uh, good night, Danielle. I think Danielle's gone. Thank you so much for your support, Danielle. I shall see you next time. <laughs> Just Average says, I used to be a big fan of ice cream bars, but now I find myself picking Greek yogurt over it. It's insane. So yeah, just just your unaverage random. I think you pretty much are agreeing with, agreeing with what I'm saying then. After a while, your taste buds change. And I didn't know that, guys, until today. Because I've never gone that long without eating junk food in my life. 70 days, 
since I've had junk food. And then I tried it, I'm like, this is horrible. I don't want this again. Made me feel, made me feel ill. Made me feel bloated. Like I did my, my workout today. I was quite sluggish today. I didn't even complete my workout today. Not today, yesterday. Yesterday I didn't have, I didn't do 10,000 yesterday. I did like 6,000 yesterday, calories. So it just all, all around, it just wasn't good. And I didn't even like the taste of it. So it's like, what's the point? That is why you eat junk food, right? For the taste. But when the taste ain't good, it's like, what is this? <laughs> this is crazy. So yeah, uh, as somebody said, it was a minor setback. And now we're gonna start busting calories like crazy. Ain't gonna happen again. And I'd, yeah, I did miss yesterday's upload, but like I said, I was just prioritizing rest. It wasn't because I was like bloated and and overblown up from eating too much. It's just because I just was tired and I just decided, I, I made a, a, an executive business decision at the CEO's head office to take a nap. That's what executive CEOs do. They decide to sleep. <laughs> Jay Smith says, as you age, your taste changes. I think that's true as well. Because I spoke about this uh, several weeks ago. I can't remember when. But I think I had something sweet. No, I didn't have something sweet. I was just talking about an experience. Where in the past, when I was really young, when I was a kid, Say I was with my mother, and my mother bought me some, I don't know, a can, a can of Fanta. A can of Fanta. I drink the Fanta. And I don't know, I don't know what it is with mums, but whenever they buy you something, they always have to have something, at least my mum. I used to re get really annoyed with that. Like, I'm like, mum, why, why did you always have to have what, what you bought me? Why don't you just buy your... I'm being, I'm being mad cheeky right now. <laughs> but no, for real though, why just buy your own, man? Why you got to drink my Fanta? Like, I want all 330 milliliters, every single milliliter. I don't even want to give away one milliliter. Why you got to have a sip of my Fanta? You can't buy it all. But, I digress. The point is, my mum would have a sip of my Fanta. My mum would be like, Ew, it's sweet. <laughs> mum would be like, yo, this is sweet. And I'll be thinking to myself, this ain't sweet. This is normal. If I could have it sweeter, to be honest, <laughs> when I was a kid, when I was like eight years old, ten years old, I never, I never understood how old, how adults would say this is too sweet. I, I couldn't even grasp the concept of something being too sweet. Point is, skip forward to today, them things are sweet, man. They're too sweet. I can't even drink them. Like even my, my vitamin. My vitamin liquid, like you guys have seen that, my multivitamin that I have. Even that's too sweet for me. I've got to dilute it because it's so sweet. I'll be have, have, drinking that. I'm just like, this is gross. I've got to put that in water because it's so sweet. Yes, I said water. What? That's what we say. We say water. Say something. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know why I started talking about that. Yeah, that's why. Someone said, as you age, your taste buds change. I think that's very, very true because I can't take sweet stuff like I used to. And before it wasn't even it wasn't even a thing. Now it definitely is. So <laughs> Cheryl says is there such thing as too sweet? What you you still got a sweet tooth, Cheryl? Okay, okay. Mine has changed, man. I'm not I'm not a sweet tooth person. I'm I was always more of a savory person. That was my problem, but now I guess I guess I'm a pickle and sauerkraut person. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Oh man, so you guys got any questions, anything you want me to clarify or clear up or add more context to, because we've been on for almost an hour now, and I've said pretty much most of what I need to say. Deb says, Jamal, I gotta go, good night, and thank you for keeping things real. Deb, you are more than welcome. It is my honor and privilege to come on here and be as transparent as possible to help add some value to the community and I hope this helps some people out there. Deb, thank you for your support today and good night. All right, any questions, guys? Just your on average says, just, my sweet tooth have, have never left me. Cheryl says, my sweet tooth has never left me. So, yeah, I guess it's different for some people. You know, we're not robots. We're not NPCs who are programmed. We are individuals, so... Yeah, of course, it's going to be different for some people. So I guess that's just my experience. 
Giuseppe Valentino says, what's your weight goal by December of this year? I don't have a date in mind for my weight goal. It's just going to happen when it happens. But my weight goal is 195 pounds. Keep in mind, I am now 475 pounds, basically. So to go from that to that is a long, long way. So let's keep pushing. Giuseppe says, what's your go-to cardio workout? I guess you must be new to the channel fairly because I talk about it all the time. But I watch a YouTube video called, well, I don't know the name, but if you just type high intensity, low impact home workout exercises, there's literally hundreds of them. And I watched one which is like an hour long. I looped it and made it three hours long. I followed that video and I also added some weights, some dumbbells which I hold in my hands. And I got some weights which I wrap around my ankles just to make the intensity a little bit more difficult, make it more harder. And then every now and then when I'm tired, I just sit down on this chair that I'm in now and I just rep the dumbbells or rep the leg weights. And then while I'm sort of recovering at the same time, it's pretty much an active recovery. And then after a while, I'll get back to my workout. So yeah, I bust a crazy sweat. And I also go for walks uh, occasionally as well. But I talk about these a lot in the videos. So if you are new here, just uh, stay tuned to the content and you'll see exactly what's going on. Giuseppe says, how do you weed, how do you weed out the pointless water weight gains versus actual fat? Because if we drink lots of water, I feel like someone would gain more weight than eating a burger. It's almost like a mental game. That's a damn good question, Giuseppe. Thank you for the awesome question. So let's talk about that. Water weight versus fat. So like I said, let's talk about it. So I did gain eight pounds in the last two days, like I said before. Now, if I actually counted the weight of the food that I ate, it'd probably be like five pounds, maybe six. And keep in mind that I also exercised every day, so I was burning fat as well. So the majority of the weight which I gained had, is actually water weight, because I was drinking water like crazy. So there's a few things you can do, Giuseppe, to help manage that and keep yourself mentally strong. One of them, which you may or may not know about, and if you don't know about this, you owe me one for telling you about this, but one of them is to get yourself a smart scale. If you don't know about a smart scale, look it up. You can get them on Amazon too. Make sure you get a proper one because there's some cheap ones which don't actually work effectively. But a smart scale, if it's a real smart scale, will tell you when, it, when you weigh yourself on a scale, it will tell you, uh, give you the figures for the amount of weight which is fat, the amount of weight which is muscle, and the amount of weight which is water. It gives you a lot more statistics along on top of that. In fact, I have one. Where did I put it? I'm, I do have a smart scale. I'm going to get it in a minute. Juliet with the 999. Juliet says, well done, Jamal, on your progress. I was going to ask what your time frame was for stage one, but you answered that a while ago while I was typing this. Juliet, thank you. Thank you so much for your support. One of my loyal Loyal supporters, always in the comments. Juliet, really do appreciate the super chat. Show some love to Juliet, everybody. So Giuseppe, there's a, a smart scale. I'm going to go get it because I actually have two of them. I'm going to go get one of them. Be right back. Talk amongst yourselves. Sorry for the delay, couldn't remember where I put it for a minute. So, Giuseppe, if you're still here, talking about, we're just talking about how to manage water weight versus fat weight versus muscle gain, how it affects your mental. You can get one of these. This is one of the two that I have, Smart Skill. 
So this, as I said, this measures the amount of fat that you have, the amount of muscle you have, and the amount of water in your body. How it does this, juju, I don't know. I think it sends like a really gentle electric shock, electric pulse through your body, and it somehow has a way of measuring the amount of weight in your body, which is actual mass. <laughs> Giuseppe says, yes! See, I told you, nothing but value, nothing but good stuff. So these, this one I got off Amazon, they've got loads of different ones. This one was actually quite expensive. Now, why haven't I opened it? Keep this in mind. Uh, the, the ones I see only go up to 400 pounds. Giuseppe says, do we, do, you, do we have to configure it without measurements? I have no idea because I have never opened it. <laughs> I have two of them and I've never opened it because the, it goes up to 400 pounds. And you guys know I ain't 400 pounds yet. I will be. So when I will, when I get there, I'll be showing you a comprehensive review and in-depth unboxing of all that stuff. But if you're under 400 pounds, Make sure you get one which is which doesn't manage your weight, but you can get one and it will tell you the exact amount of fat versus water and etc. you have. Cheryl Galerian with the 999. Thank you so much, Cheryl. Cheryl says, just a little something for today with a smiley face and a wink. Cheryl, one of my loyal, loyal supporters. Appreciate you so much. Thank you. Thank you to everybody for the super chats and the support. Everybody, you guys are amazing. Appreciate it. Woo! So, because Giuseppe, I hope that helps you. That is the, probably the best way that I know of that you can help to manage the mental frustrations that come with water weight. Like I said, I can't use it yet, so I have had to find other ways to deal with that, but I would recommend that. Giuseppe says, what a wealth of information you have. These 70 days have been so transformational. You are becoming a coach yourself. That's one of the nicest things ever, anybody's ever said to me. <laughs> yeah, thank you, man. That was very nice, man. That was very good. Almost, almost. I'm a man. <laughs> no, thank you, man. That was really cool. Appreciate you. More, more to come, man. More to come. That like this channel. I've said it before, but this channel isn't just about me. There's a reason why this shirt doesn't say Jamal Get Right. It says Get Right Gang. Because it's about us, not just me. It's about exchanging value. I learn from you all. You guys learn from me. We give, we take, we support each other in different ways. We exchange information, we network, we connect. We get smarter. The hive mind gets smarter and stronger. And then as time goes on, we just become great. That's why I've got, that's why, I've, that's why when I design these, with these explosions, I've got a crown here, I've got a crown here, and a crown there as part of the explosion. Because we are leaders, we are kings, we are queens, we are gonna lead the way to a better future. So yeah, thank you so much to everybody for the support. Thank you, Giuseppe. Thank you to all the super chatters. You guys are wonderful. Jay Smith says, you'll be using that scale in no time. That is the plan. That is the plan. I actually have two of them. Can't really say why I have two of them. I will, you'll find that later on at another time. So yeah, I'll be using that scale. So that's probably the best way of managing water weight that I know of. But if you don't want to spend money on a scale, the other way, which is the long-winded way that I actually do, is just to track everything. I track the amount of food I eat. And I track the amount of water. Most time, most days I track the amount of water I drink. To be honest, when I go out, when I've been going out to those bars and stuff, I haven't been tracking it. I've just been drinking because I've been talking a lot. So I'll be getting thirsty a lot. So I'll just be drinking. But most of the time I track the exact amount of water I drink. And that's just by getting a, you could get a half gallon jug, which I have. Do I have it over there? No, it's in the house somewhere. But I, I have a half gallon jug, which is 2.2 liters, and I just fill it to the top, drink that. When, when, once that's gone, I might have another flask, which I have, which is one liter. So that's another two pounds, and I drink that. So basically, every time I, every time I drink water, I put it in a container where I know how many pounds or how many liters that is. And then I just drink from what is go what is going on? Two super chats at once. Oh, you guys, what is 
it's getting crazy now. It's getting a bit hot under this shirt, right? I'm going to open the door. Cheryl Galerian with the 999 says one more time. Uh, 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 one more time. Nah, Cheryl, Cheryl with two super guys, show some love to the super chatters, man. Pop off in the chat, folks, man. You guys are going crazy today. Thank you so much, everybody. Let me get some love. All 28 people, if you're watching, please, please do show some love to the people who do support with the super chats because it, it is a massive help. And I do not take for granted you guys work very, very hard for your money and for you to even support, even giving one dollar is incredible so cheryl thank you so much and tara pierre gill <clears throat> tara pierre gills with the 1999 super chat <sighs> you guys are crazy tara says i can't commit to a membership at the moment but wanted to show support keep up the great work you are an inspiration to me and many that means a lot thank you so much tara that really means a lot i'm just doing my part and i'll continue to do my part because I feel like this is what I'm meant to be doing. So I appreciate that. And I'm going to continue to do so. Super chatters, everybody please show some love to all the super chatters today. Because you guys make this this thing work. And with this, this, like I said before, I've got plans for the future. I've got things that I'm going to be doing, which I haven't revealed yet. Once phase one is complete. And don't, let's be honest, it's going to cost some money. So this, this, this money is going to get put to good use. So thank you to you guys. And another thing, I've not really talked about this before, but another thing is I was very intentional not to ask for donations in the early stages of the channel. In fact, I've never asked for donations. I never put any PayPal links in my channel or anything like that. I wasn't monetized until like a month or two in. So I never got a penny for a while. And that's because I, one of the reasons is because I wanted you guys to see that I am not going to take your money and go buy junk food, for example, or buy alcohol. I wanted to get some credibility established first and some trust established first before anybody even has an opportunity to spend money or donate or support. So everything I've, I've done now, all these monetization options are an exchange of value. So I'll give back information or you can get merchandise or there's a membership option, which there's extra extra content there. But I don't ask for money and I, and I took, took time before I even added these monetization options because I wanted you guys to see that I'm credible and that I'm not going to take your 1999 Tara or your 999 Cheryl and go buy a dumb sh Like you can see that I'm for real. I'm actually real about this. So I, ho I hope that makes sense and I hope that is, um, I hope that was the right thing to do. So yeah, thank you so much everybody. But yeah, managing water weight, like I said, get you a smart skill. You can get it from Amazon or if you don't fancy getting a smart skill, the best way I do it, which is not going to work for everybody because it's a lot of effort, but I just, I just track the amount of water I drink. I don't write it down. I just have it in my head. So when I have, I just drink, I usually drink from a half gallon jug, which is 2.2 .2 liters, which is basically four and a half pounds, almost five pounds. And... I drink all of that so I know exactly, okay, so I'll gain four and a half pounds if, I, if that's all I had that drink that day. So then the next day, if I see I gained four and a half pounds and I didn't have any food, okay, I know why. So yeah, <laughs> that's one way of going about it. But I know some people aren't going to be wanting to be in their, in their head all the time and getting stats all the time. But that's just a couple of options that you guys can utilize. If you're having issues with the water weight stuff, just track the water, man. Get something, get something which is measured. Don't just drink from a glass where you don't know how much you've drunk. Get something which actually measures it. You can get you a litre bottle or a two litre bottle or whatever size you want. Have a good, have in your mind how much you drank because that can help you to be prepared for the fluctuations that happen and you'll know exactly what's going on. Cool. Any more questions, guys? Uh, anything else you want to talk about? Right, so just your un un average random says, I'm down 4.6 pounds this month. Let's go. Sorry, I missed that. Just your un average says, I'm down 4.6 pounds this month. And I can say with 100% certainty that I play a big role in it. You guys, you guys, you guys are so kind. Seeing your consistent effort is what pushes me to keep going and resist the binge urges. Wow. You guys are touching the heart today, man, for real. 
Get Rat Gang for real, man. Appreciate that. It's such, such a great community we have, man, for real. There's so many toxic communities out there on YouTube and on social media in general, but we don't have that over here. And you know what? We haven't had any trolls today, which is nice. So yeah, it's been a really good stream. And honestly, thank you so much for the support, everybody. Giuseppe says, what's your safest way to drink <clears throat> without packing the calories? Although I feel like enough <clears throat> will cause you will cause us to lose tons of water weight. Safest way? Um, I don't really drink in general, but if I did, I just have probably just have a spirit on the rocks. Because the cat, there's no, I don't think. I don't think spirit even has calories, does it? Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not an expert, but like, I don't think spirit actually has calories. So, I thought I was gonna sneeze. So if you do have spirits, just have it without the, without the soda, without the juice. But the problem with alcohol in general is that it makes you bingy. Like, <laughs> it's like, like any, any time I go to a club or go to a bar, there's always, Three different takeaway junk food outlets, which are open till like 4 a.m. right next to it. For good reason, because people go straight from the bar to, to the chip shop or to, to the chicken and chip shop, whatever, and just start scoffing down or gorging on junk food. So that's the biggest problem, with, with our, in my opinion. <clears throat> it's not so much the calories from the booze, it's the calories you end up binging afterwards. So if you can keep that in check and under control and manage that, Sometimes a drink every now and then is not the end of the world. In moderation, of course, as they always say, in moderation. Now, I've got to be responsible here because some people do have alcohol issues and alcohol addictions. It is an addiction for some people. For me, it's never really been a big issue, but I've got to be responsible and say, be responsible. Make sure you're at the right age and all of that stuff. I'm not endorsing alcohol anymore at, at all. It's not that. This isn't the channel for that. But... Some of you, some of us are adults. Sometimes you go have a little drink every now and then. You know, have a little syrup, syrup. <laughs> Giuseppe says, I would imagine if we don't eat a lot of the drinking, we would probably lose water weight since it's a diuretic. Yes, that's correct. So something that I heard about a little modeling trick that models do, or some models do, is that a lot of, or some models will actually drink wine the day before a photo shoot drink like two bottles of wine. And that's because it'll make them urinate a lot of the water out. So they urinate with alcohol and they urinate out the water. So then they end up being even more leaner and even more cut up for the photo shoot. And if that's true or not, if there's any models who are watching this, you can confirm or not. That's just something I heard about on a, I think it was a YouTube short. One of the, somebody who used to be a model says they used to drink wine, which makes them even leaner because they, urinate out a lot of the water so yes that is true if you're trying to manage water weight i guess that's one way of doing it but just be consistent man if you're trying to if you if you're trying to reach a weight loss goal and you're worried about water weight just don't even worry about it just be consistent if you're tracking your calories in and you're tracking your calories out does the water weight really matter it doesn't matter at all because over time you're gonna start losing weight you're gonna reach your goal so just be consistent like if you want if you, if you want me to really recommend a great product i recommend a fitness watch this is the one i use it's called a fitbit versa free i talk about this all the time i've been using this for years and it's one of the best pieces of technology i've ever purchased in my life because this tracks the amount of calories i burn in a day i show you guys all the time the calories i burn so i know exactly how many calories i burned in a day and from all my tests and comparisons it's pretty accurate so then all I have to do is track the amount of calories I eat in a day. And then I already know before I stepped on the scale if I lost body fat or not. I could drink 10 pounds of water that day and gain 10 pounds. But I still know that I ate in a calorie deficit based on the information on my Fitbit and based on how much calories I ate that day through my own tracking. So that's the best way if you want to, if you want, if you're worried about water weight, don't worry about the water weight too much. If you, if you really want to know if it does bother you, just get yourself a smart scale. But I do highly do recommend a, a smart watch. Some of them are not very good. So keep in mind, some of the cheap ones are not actually very good. I think Fitbit's a good product. I heard Garmin's a good product. Google has a pretty good one. So just, you might need to spend a bit of money. Just keep that in mind. Giuseppe says, all right, stream. 
Just don't binge eat, but there you go. That's your weight loss re recipe. There it is. Violet says diuretics are better than alcohol, but you should be careful not to get dehydrated. One hundred percent. Dehydrating can be dangerous. Um, what else? What else, y'all? What else, y'all talking about? Jay says, "Hey, what's up, Jay?" <laughs> Jay says, "Jay says, hey, Jay, hey, Jay yourself." <laughs> Alright. Any questions, folks? Anything you want me to cover? What, what, what do you all want to talk about? What do you want to talk about? I want to talk about politics. <laughs> I want to talk about sports. What do you want to talk about? Jay says, I love that these foods taste bad to you now. Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it weird? I was I was pretty weirded out by it, but I guess it's a good it's a good thing now because it means I'm not gonna go back to it. But yeah, that that, that stamp was trash i would much rather just eat these matter of fact hold up like i ain't got a fork right next to me these are so good mm. and i don't think at the start of my weight loss journey i would care for these Pickled cauliflower and gherkins. Slaps three times. I am a fan. Two thumbs up from me. And that, that just might, like I said, that just might be because I've been doing this for 70 days straight. I don't know if, if that the start this, I would be interested in that, but I also didn't try it before, so I don't know. But man, I'll be getting a lot of those. Very good. Super low in calories, super high in electrolytes. Exactly what I want. Jay says, I used to love fried toast and bacon and eggs. Now it makes me feel sick. I don't know about the bacon and eggs. I still eat bacon and eggs. Fried toast. I don't think I could eat fried toast because that's just too, too oily. But yeah, definitely, I hear what you're saying. Definitely relatable. Just Jen says, I got a head out, but mods, as always, you're amazing. Thank you, and thanks, Jamal, for the info and inspiration. You're so welcome, Jen, and have a good night. We've only got two mods at the moment. I've got one more mod as well who's not here at the moment. So you guys, I might need one or two more mods. So if you are interested in becoming a moderator on this channel, do send me an email. If you don't know what my email is or where to get it, then you probably ain't gonna be a mod because you ain't built for it. But I would, I could do with a couple more mods. So if you're interested, just send me an email. Keep in mind that it's only ever gonna be people who are loyal to the channel, who have seen around for a long time. It's not just gonna be some random who just popped up for the first time who I've never, don't really know yet. So keep that in mind. But if you are a long time supporter of the channel and you're interested in becoming a mod, Shoot me an email and we can uh, we can discuss that. Barrios says, what's a better way to kickstart weight lo your weight loss journey? Cardio or hitting the gym? <clears throat> or does each have a path to... Or do each has its own path to the ideal physique? Okay, so yeah, that just depends on what your goal is. You pretty much asked, You pretty much answered the question. How you go about your weight loss journey just depends on what your goal is. Like you, you pretty much got to reverse engineer it. So whatever your goal is, whether you want to get bigger, stronger, leaner, uh, lose, uh, tackle loose skin, you got to have that goal in mind, reverse engineer it, and figure out what it's going to take to get to that end goal. So I can't answer that question for you because I don't know what your goal is. So for me, my goal is to lose weight fast rapid weight loss and to hopefully try to tackle the loose skin through natural organic methods without surgery if it's possible i don't know if it's possible but this is this is one of my one of my challenges so what i did was i reverse engineered that that's my end goal and i figured out what i need to do to get there so how i'm going to lose weight fast burn a whole bunch of calories eat a whole little amount of food lose weight for us. How am I going to tackle the loose skin? I'm going to be talking about that a lot more over the weeks, but one way is going to be to, one way I'm going to try to do that is through lifting weights. 
because my thought process is if I do a proper bodybuilding program, bodybuilding routine, then because I'm not eating a lot of protein, my body should absorb the protein from the loose skin because the number one source of protein is actually the skin. The skin is 90% protein and it is the biggest organ in the body. So my theory is that if I do a bodybuilding lifting routine, then once my body needs the protein for recovery, to recover the muscles, and because I'm not gonna be eating a lot of protein, it's gonna to have to get it from somewhere, which more than likely is gonna be the skin. People say, yeah, it might get it from the organs, it might get it from your heart and your liver. I don't think the body's stupid. The body knows what's going on. It has things stored for certain reasons, for emergency reasons. It's not gonna start eating your vital organs, in my opinion. Hopefully, I don't know, but hopefully, I think it's going to start absorbing it from the skin. So, for example, you know, I've got loose skin on my chest already. I've got a saggy chest, saggy stomach. My theory is if I, for example, focus on building up my chest, then it's probably, hopefully, most likely going to focus on absorbing it from the nearest place where the protein is, which is on the loose skin on my chest. So, that's just my theory. Hopefully, that makes sense. I don't know if it's going to work, but it's what I'm going to be trying. And at the end of the day, whether it works or not doesn't actually matter because I'm still going to get to a healthy weight. So that is the main thing, being healthy, extending my life, being happier, being leaner and being more comfortable with my skin. So whether I've got loose skin or not, it doesn't matter because I'm still going to be at, at, at a good weight, a healthy weight, finally, as an adult. So it is what it is. We'll see what happens. And if I have to get surgery one day... And I, can, and I can afford it. Well, at the rate you guys gave me Super Chats today, I'll be able to afford it pretty soon. <laughs> Honestly, crazy, crazy day, man. You guys are amazing and so incredible. And I really do appreciate that. I'm just going to keep doing my part. And I appreciate every single one of you. So Barrios says, what's your gym routine? I haven't been to the gym yet, my dude. During this weight loss journey, I have not been, I haven't stepped foot in a gym. Everything I've been doing has been a home workout or just going for walks in a nearby area. And I did that intentionally. I plan to go to the gym once I get to 445 pounds. And that's because I want to lose the first 100 pounds without going to the gym. Just because it's got, I think it'll be a really good lesson for everybody. Not a good lesson, but a good learning experience for a lot of people who, got, who are even watching this now or in the future. Just to show you that you don't actually need to go to the gym. You don't actually need to spend money. I don't know if some people do worry about the costs or, or just the fact that they feel like they might not actually go. So I want to show people, look, hey, I lost £100 and I need to step forward in the gym. That's what's going to happen. But once I do hit that £445 mark and lose that £100, I'm going to start slapping it in the gym hard. I'll probably get a lot more footage in the gym as well. Um, and I might get some longer videos as well. If you guys know about Sam Sulik, I would like to get more of a Sam Sulik style of content. Uh, I just don't have the equipment for that. So that's where things like the Super Chats and the people who do buy merch and people who do send me emails, uh, support for emails, that's where that that's where that support's going to go. It's through upgrading my equipment. I need to get a microphone. I need to get an, a better camera. I need to get a better PC equipment as well to, for better editing. So I've got a lot of things I need to do. It's just going to be, it's going to take some time before I can get to the place where I, where I want to get to work and really start sinking my teeth in and like going all in but yeah a lot of things i gotta do barrier says oh yeah for sure she's doing great she's getting 50 pounds still looks great who are, you, who are you talking about looks like you're talking about somebody else who i'm not sure who yeah so yeah i'm gonna be going gym most likely what date is it 19th of march sorry yeah 19th of march Damn, this month went quick. 19th of March. I'll probably I'll, I'll be going to the gym next month, guys. And I'll be getting lots of footage for ya. That's where it's gonna get fun though. Cause you know, you know I do the before and afters every day. And you can see me shrinking. But once I start lifting, that's when you're gonna start seeing like the cuts and like the definition. And you know, it's just gonna start looking crazy. <laughs> Hopefully. So that's the plan. Violet says, you ever thought of streaming video games or something like that? Random question, but uh, no, I, I don't see myself streaming video games. I don't really play video games at all anymore, just because many reasons. But I was a hardcore gamer growing up. I was a proper gaming nerd, like big time. I played a lot of fighting games, a lot of adventure games, platform games. 
since we're talking about games, I could talk about games all day. <laughs> I'm sort of trying not to, but that's a topic I know a lot about. But I played a lot of games growing up. It's probably one of the reasons why. Not not probably. Definitely one of the reasons why I got, got so overweight. And even as a kid, I was so overweight. is because I didn't go out enough. Not like other kids running around, climbing trees, jumping over buildings, running in, running through traffic and sliding underneath cars. I wasn't doing any of that. I was playing video games <laughs> like a nerd. And I, I spent way too many hours of my life playing video games. So now that I'm older, I try not to do that. Even though I like them, I still watch clips on YouTube and stuff like that. But I don't see myself streaming because I want to be much more of an active person. I want to get out there more. I want to interact, create real connections and communicate with people in the real world. And just get healthier. And sitting on my butt backside all day. Is not a way to do that. So if I do play video games, it's more more likely going to be at the local arcade because at least that way I'm being social at the same time and I'm getting out there, I'm on my feet, I'm talking to people, I'm networking. So it's kind of a way of doing both things at the same time. But streaming, I see streamers, they stream like sometimes 16 hours a day. That is not in the cards for me. I'm trying to get right and stay right. So yeah, I hope no one says that. But I do love games. I could talk about games a lot. Um, good night, Jay, Jay Smith says, good night, it's been nice, good night Jay, thank you so much for your support my G, appreciate you, and have a fantastic night, I'll see you next time, <sighs> okay, someone says, someone's asking me about mukbangs, um, I'm gonna assume you're not a troll, normally I would just block you, but no, I'm, I'm not doing no mukbangs, it's just a stupid question, but I'm going to give you a pass this time. I don't think you're a troll, but normally that's something a troll would ask me. But no, Stop, stupid question. Shame on you. Mm, anything else? <laughs> Any more questions, guys? Anything else? We've been on for one and a half hours. I've been talking my head off. Covered a lot of ground. Yeah. AS, he says, sorry, absolutely not, I'm not a troll. Yeah, I, don't, I didn't think he was a troll, but that's normally a question a troll would ask on a weight loss channel, a weight loss journey channel. So maybe I was a bit mean then, <laughs> but yeah, no, nah, they're not doing no, no eating challenges or nothing like that. It's all about weight loss here. It's all about progress, leveling up, leveling up and self-improvement. And that stuff is, people just do that stuff to create content, to make money. Obviously, I need to make money and that's, Part of the reason why I do a YouTube channel, but also a big part of my channel is to give back value to help the community to exchange information and to do things which help other people. Me binging on noodles and chicken wings is not giving anybody value, that's just for entertainment and income, and that's not what I'm here for. So the answer is no, <laughs> but yeah, I appreciate the question. <sighs> yeah. Just, yeah, don't, just don't ask about that stuff. It's just, it's a weight loss channel. I'm not doing eating challenges, silly. Anywho, um, Jay says, I want to know if you'd consider doing fitness YouTube once you get right. Keep up to help and inspire others. What do you mean by do fitness YouTube? What do you mean by that? Do you mean like create exercise videos? Like fitness routines? Possibly. There's a lot of there's a lot of potential. There's a lot of things I can do once I get to a healthy weight. I mean, I'm gonna be a whole different person, literally. So the future's bright, man. First, but like I said, phase one before I start getting too deep and, and doing too much is to get to a healthy weight and actually do what I said I'm going to do. Because people say stuff all the time. People have all these grandiose plans and ambitions, and they don't actually do it. And who know? And I'm not a fortune teller. None of you can see the future. Who knows? Maybe I won't do it either. So. I'm not going to guarantee that it's going to get done, but I'm going to do everything in my power to get it done. So let's do that first, and then we'll start thinking about what comes next. All right. Nat Natia says, Just wanted to say you're so inspiring. I just found your channel, and I'm so happy I did. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. I'm currently on my journey, and I love seeing relatable people. Love heart. Natia, thank you so much for the support, and welcome to the Get Right Gang. Welcome aboard. I'm glad you found the channel and I'm glad that you're finding my content helpful and inspiring and I'm going to keep doing my part. So stay tuned. 
Christopher S says, if you had one option to lose weight, would you choose weightlifting or cardio training? Be off, be honest. Uh, definitely weightlifting because I, it's not, for me, it's not just about weight loss. It's one, it's also about health and also about the looks. You want to look good. You want to look good in your clothes. I want to wear fitted clothing, maybe some tailored clothing, and I want it to look good as well. And I think the way, the best way to look good in your clothing is weightlifting. You've got to lift weights. As a man, at least as a man, and and as a woman too, in my opinion. But you know, that's not that's not my horse. I don't have a horse in that race. I'm not a woman, so I'm just speaking for the fellas. But I think weightlifting is the best way to look the best, look good in your clothes, have your clothes fit the best. So yeah, it definitely be weightlifting. But the only reason I'm not lifting weights, as I said a little bit earlier, is because I'm not going to the gym yet until I lose 100 pounds first. Then I'm gonna start lifting weights on a regular basis. And I might do two. I might do two exercises a day. To be honest, um, I might I might do weightlifting and I might do some cardio at the same on the same day as well. We'll just have to wait and see. Jay says, "Show your routine and diet. You will have learned a lot about nutrition by the end of this." So yes, health and fitness training, absolutely. Uh, what's going on? Right, we got a troll exposing something looks like a troll mods ban this person <laughs> i haven't even read what, what they're saying so if somebody's if somebody's bringing some negative vibes in fact if you're in a if you're in a get right gang if you're a channel member put the put the good vibes only put the good vibes emoji on the screen everybody put good vibes on the screen the good vibes emoji or just type good vibes if you're not a channel member you know why? Because it's only good vibes over here. If you come over here with some hating or some troll stuff, you just get yeeted. I don't care. Like I can, it's it's not about criticism. It's just some of you are assholes, and you just are very disrespectful. So I just yeet you. Good vibes only. If you if you want to have a conversation like a normal human being, like talk to me how you would talk to somebody who you know in real life. There you go. Assignment banned. Talk to me how you would talk to somebody you met in the street or somebody you talked to at a bus stop. If you come over here with some with some negative tone, I don't care what you're saying. You're going to get yeeted. Gone. Like, talk to me with respect. I'm a human being. Yes, you guys are hiding behind some, hiding behind your, your old accounts with hidden faces, but it doesn't matter. Speak to me like a human. You can see the vibe that we have over here. And YouTube's a big place. If you want to be an arsehole, go be an arsehole somewhere else. I get it. That's how you get your rocks off. That's how you make your day go by. You want to troll, you want to hate, you want to be nasty. I'm not here to judge. Do your thing. You just ain't going to do it over here because that ain't this type of channel. There's a channel for you. This might be not be the channel for you, so that's why you get banned. Deal with it. Yeet! <laughs> Good vibes only, guys. We're, we're, we're about progressing, leveling up, and moving forward as a, as a community, as, as a unit. So if you come over here on some nonsense, you'll be out. Yeah, no, none of that negative stuff. We don't even talk about other people like that. So, yeah, good vibes. So, yeah, it seems like you guys have run out of questions because now we're just getting some trolls coming in. So I'm probably going to wrap up this video, folks. But, guys, it's been, a, it's been an awesome stream, man. It's been a really good stream, really productive. I feel like I've given out a lot of good information. You guys, some of you have been there since the start. So shout out to you, man. Guys, sound off in the chat below. Let me get some ones. Just type one in the chat below. If you've had, if you've enjoyed this stream, put a one in the, in the chat below. Just type one if you've enjoyed this stream. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. I've had a good time. And, and I will definitely be back next week. As I said earlier, I missed yesterday's, or, yeah, I missed yesterday's upload. But I hopefully, if you guys have a chance, check out today's video. And hopefully, I feel like I made up for it. But we'll see. I did cover a lot of stuff and cover a lot of ground over there. So hopefully that doesn't happen again. But I see a lot of ones in the chat. So thank you so much, guys. <laughs> Can you give us a tour of your crib? One day, not today. I'll do that at some point. So yeah, get right, gang. It's been it's been real. Thank you for all the super chatters. I saw two, two notifications for merch pop up today. So two people have bought hoodies or something. So thank you to everybody who, who, who had their merch coming on the way getrackgag.com is where you can get your merch big beautiful design i'm going to be getting more at some point but giuseppe says the trolls ruined the stream no they didn't just the trolls got yeeted <laughs> the trolls could never ruin the stream the trolls couldn't ruin anything no matter what 
That will never happen. So we had a good time. Just ignore that stuff. Christopher says, how can I send you a super chat? Uh, at the bottom right, there should be a dollar sign. Somewhere there should be a dollar sign, which will allow you to send super chats. So let me know if you can see that at the bottom right. Yeah, we've got mods on. Don't, Giuseppe, don't. There ain't no trolls ruining nothing. What are you talking about? That ain't happening. <clears throat> so just ignore them. Anybody talking some nonsense just gets yeeted. So just talk, just talk to me like I'm a normal person, man. That's all you got to do, people. Like, I, I get it. Some people want to troll. That's fine. It's the internet. Some people want to just do stupid stuff, and that's how they get the rocks off. You might have a, you might have had a bad day at work. You, your girlfriend might have cheated on you. You might have got divorced. You know, anything could happen, and you just get your rocks off, and it makes you feel better. Cool, do your thing, but not over here. Just talk to me like like I'm a normal person, and we and we can vibe. So here's what it is. Yeah, all right. So don't bear yourself up over the slip up. Don't beat yourself up over the slip up. You're doing great, shrinking all the time. Yeah, I'm not beating myself up at all. I was just, I was just annoyed that the company even decided to make five new flavors. That is what irritated me at all. Cause I wouldn't have even been bothered one bit if it wasn't for that. But because I've never had it before, it was just like the unknown, not knowing what it tastes like and wanting it. But once I had it, I was like, yeah, this is, this is, this is dead. I rather have my pickles and sauerkraut. This is some good stuff right here, man. Who's getting pickles this week? Who, who, anybody out there that wasn't planning on getting pickles that are now getting pickles or sauerkraut because of what I, because of this video? Mm, mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. And I'm not even exaggerating. It's that good. Jay says, me, I'm getting pickles. Giuseppe says, I actually love fried pickles. Fried pickles, huh? That's interesting. Christopher says, get some sleep, bruv. <laughs> I see what you did there. Giuseppe says, uh, I might eat pickles from now on. Right, yeah, I'm gonna, I've, already, <laughs> I've already done the outro, so I'm going to wrap up the stream, guys. Natea says, kimchi too. Add that to your list. Is kimchi high in sodium? I'll have to look at the kimchi uh, nutrition. I appreciate the suggestion. Guys, I've already done the outro, so I'm going to wrap up the stream. Get right, gang. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much for the love. I appreciate everybody, and it seems like you guys appreciate me, so we're in this together. Let's keep doing our part, keep exchanging value, and keep getting stronger and leveling up all the way to the top while the weight goes all the way to the bottom. Guys, let's keep pushing. And you know the last part. Let's get right. <laughs> Goodbye.